All right, guys, we're gonna get right into it, man. This just gets weirder and weirder. Why would they be erasing medical journals? Basically erasing history. First, what is a medical journal? According to Wikipedia, a medical journal is a peer-reviewed scientific journal that communicates medical information to physicians, other health professionals. Now here's one doctor expressing his concerns on why are medical journals disappearing, being erased. Dr. Scott Jensen here. Over the last three years, we have together talked about a lot of issues. We have talked about masks and modeling. We have talked about lockdowns and social distancing. We have talked about vaccines and mandates. We have talked about parental rights and a whole lot of other things, including natural immunity, herd immunity, and what happened in nursing homes. Those issues will continue to be discussed as well they should, but I need to sound the alarm. I read medical journals all the time and two articles that had an odd connection over the last week came across my desk. First, Chris Mazzolini, editorial director of Medical Economics, has an article about a book written by Wendy Dean, a physician, who talks about physician moral injury. You might ask yourself, what does that mean? Dr. Wendy Dean says that moral injury is this sense of feeling as if you're betrayed by somebody in a position of authority in a high stakes situation. And that situation causes you to transgress your deeply held moral beliefs and expectations. And in medicine, those beliefs and expectations are the oaths that we took to put our patients first. This is what's happening to physicians. When we feel that people in authority who we thought had our back and were doing the right thing, that they controlled us and didn't perform. And that caused us to potentially compromise our commitment to our patients. That has happened across the land, across the globe. Let's turn to the second article. An article in Jazz Shaw called The Medical Field is Erasing Its Own COVID Era History. Here's what it says. Pfizer and the rest of the big pharma companies assured the government that everything was just fine with the vaccines because they had been doing super serious testing. And the government dutifully reported the cheerful news to us while using all of that data to impose lockdowns, mask mandates, and immunity passport systems. And now, according to one group that tracks publications in scientific journals, a lot of the original research and test results are mysteriously disappearing. More than 300 papers and scientific articles have vanished in the past year. We have to be on red alert. What we're seeing is potentially substandard medical publications used to push forward, promote a narrative, and squash all other narratives. And now that some of the dust is settling, we're seeing these articles withdrawn, disappearing. You won't find them potentially on internet. This is problematic. We knew during the pandemic that several specific instances occurred where high quality journals such as Lancet, the New England Journal of Medicine, published articles that a short time later required a retraction or a revision or a redaction. We're seeing this happen in spades now. We're seeing 300 plus articles disappearing. And I think you and I both know why. In many situations, it was shoddy research, it was shoddy analysis, it wasn't peer-reviewed, or the conclusions drawn from the data were clearly spurious. And we asked the question, was this born of a nefarious agenda? My friends, I don't remember any time in my 40 years of medical history, where in a short span of time, journal articles in the hundreds and hundreds were just
disappearing. This feels like people are covering their tracks. And we need to pay attention. When medical journals that were used at one time to push a narrative and squash another narrative are now disappearing, my profession has a big problem. We cannot let them erase history and we cannot let them brush that that last scam under the rug. We have to stay vigilant and keep our eyes on the prize, okay? Now, I just want to bring to your attention that New Zealand has just came out with their new pandemic plans, and I think some of it's pretty interesting, okay? Because you got to remember that they all start with a plan somewhere, they implement it, see how it goes, and then they start pushing it out, pushing it out, pushing it out. So special powers are authorized by the Minister of Health by an epidemic notice or apply when an emergency has been declared under the Civil Defense Emergency Management Act 2002. Power to detain, isolate, or quarantine allows medical officer of health to require persons, places, buildings, ships, vehicles, aircraft, animals, or things to be isolated, quarantined, or disinfected. And it goes on to say that the powers to prescribe preventative treatment allows a medical officer of health in respect to any other person who has been isolated or quarantined to require people to remain where they are isolated or quarantined until they have been medically examined and found to be free of infectious disease or until they have undergone such preventative treatment as a medical officer in health prescribes. The power to requisition premises allows the medical officer or health to requisition premises and vehicles for the accommod accommodation, treatment, and transport of patients. Man, this is very interesting. Goes on to say in section 71A that st states that member of the police may do anything reasonably necessary including the use of force to help medical officers of health or any person authorized by medical officer of health to exercise or performance of powers or functions under 7071 so they can basically use the police to restrain you to give you the injection hope you guys are paying attention we have medical journals being erased from the last go round we have New Zealand coming out with their new pandemic policies, which basically says that they can pin you down and then, you know, give it to you. And then we have at the same time, New Zealand comes out with two different articles. I'm going to share those with you guys here, and I'll also be emailing out all this stuff to you guys. I've been very good about sending out all this information to you guys on the email list. Go to offgridwithdougandstacy.com and you can fill out the box and get on the email list, but I've been sending out all this information, and you guys are finding it very helpful. I've been getting a lot of good feedback from it, because I just want you to see it with your own eyes. Don't believe anything that I say, okay? But Finland is offering the framework for bird flu shots. The first article that I found was this one right here, okay? Some experts say you should too, okay? As the bird flu is spread among the cattle and U.S. veterinarians and researchers have taken note of Finland's move to vaccinate farm, raker, farm workers at risk of infection. They wonder why the government doesn't do the same. Farm workers, veterinarians, and producers handling large volumes of milk that can contain high levels of bird flu virus, which is totally bogus. I just did a video about that yesterday about the milk. Please go watch that video. If vaccines seem to provide some immunity, I think we should offer them. <laughs> Among dozens of virology outbreaks and experts interviewed by the KFF Health News, most agree with Russo. They said people who work with dairy cows should be offered vaccinations for disease that have killed roughly half the people known to have gotten it globally over the past two decades. Do you guys understand this, this fear propaganda that's going on here? All right, but they, at the same time, they release another one that says... The bird flu spreads among dairy cattle in the U.S. Veterinarians and researchers have taken notice to Finland's move to vaccinate farm workers and, and risk of infection. They wonder why they're, and they say the same exact thing. That's called Project Mockingbird. In case you guys have never looked that up, you should try to look it up. Project Mockingbird. It's when all the media places parrot the same. Hi, I'm Fox San Antonio's Jessica Headley. And I'm Ryan Wolf. Our, our greatest, greatest responsibility, responsibility is, is to, to serve, serve our, our Treasure Valley communities. The El Paso Las Cruces communities. Eastern Iowa communities. Mid-Michigan communities. We are extremely proud of the quality, balanced journalism that CBS4 News produces.
But we are concerned about trouble and trying to be responsible. One side of news stories plaguing our country. Plaguing our country. The sharing of biased and false news has become all too common on social media. More alarming, some media outlets publish the same fake stories without checking facts first. The sharing of biased and false, false news, news has, has become, become all, all too common, common on, on social, social media. media. More alarming, some media outlets publish the same stories without checking, checking facts first. first. Unfortunately, some members of the media use their platforms to push their own personal bias and agenda to control exactly what people think. And this is extremely dangerous to our democracy. 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 Thing, but this one also says. However, some researchers sided with the Centers of Disease and Control and Prevention in recommend, recommending against vaccination from now. There's no evidence that this year's bird flu virus spreads between people or causes serious disease in humans. And it's unclear how well the available vaccine would prevent either scenario. Okay? What a gaslight. In one breath, they say the sky is falling. We have bird flu taking over the world. We have to kill off millions and millions of chickens we have to quarantine and kill even some cattle now the article says hold on it's not that big of a deal in one article finland's racing for the cure they're already stockpiling the vaccines they're coming out with their new pandemic plans which is all by the who pandemic treaty okay which america has never signed up to or ratified it's basically just a handshake with the president and so to speak okay i just want you guys to be aware of what's going on medical journals are being erased and we have this uh new thing popping off right around the corner we have the elections coming on i mean is any of this like deja vu for you guys <laughs> any deja vu happening for you all right share this uh video with your friends okay this one's kind of important the i think the biggest part of this is the medical journals being erased okay that's how you control history that's not good. All right. See you guys on the next video. Don't forget, it's videos every day. So if YouTube doesn't send you guys a notification, just check in because I'm going to be dropping them every day. And tonight's Monday, so you'll be able to catch us live at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time where me and Stacy will be talking about some really cool stuff and we'll probably be live in the garden tonight, okay? Well, hopefully we'll see you guys then. Make sure you're subscribed because they've been unsubscribing you. And we'll see you on the next video.